I ride full time, I teach a little bit, plus I'm on the Victorian eventing squad and the national squad on one of my horses. The day I had my accident was cross country day. And there was a tricky fence where they had to actually jump through a hut and a lot of the previous horses had had stops or refusals and so Izzy was quite aware that she had to ride positively through there. And then he just slipped on the flat. And the next thing that happened was the horse was galloping towards me and Isabel wasn't on him. So then... We'd asked a lot of people about where was the best place for her to rehab and they said Epworth. That was a real breakthrough for us, just getting her there and being able to go home at night and feeling that she was um, safe. When I had the, the melanoma diagnosed, it was also discovered that I had four um, on my brain. It took me probably 10 minutes to be able to speak and then of course asked them the most stupidest question in, in the world, you know, are you sure? I came to that for the, for, the, for the very good reason that I was suddenly became quite ill. Uh, I didn't really think there was anything much the matter with me except I was getting, getting pretty ancient. But one morning I wakened uh, to find that my lungs were absolutely waterlogged. I couldn't breathe and I was in real difficulty. And it was all so free of and stress, apart from uh, you know worrying about things, that after the, the day after I'd had my uh, operation, uh, 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 I felt so good that I asked if I could go home. I've got ankylosing spondylitis, which is a form of arthritis. I've had ever since I was a little girl, so I've had it for many, many years now. I've already had five hip replacements two knee replacements and an ankle replacement. He said, if I put a normal standard prosthetic into your pelvis, he said, the fact that you're quite an active person still, he said, the hip replacement would probably last you on average about two years. Improvements in uh, medical technology has made me lead a very, quite a normal life overall. I'm happily married and have two beautiful children. The last time I saw my surgeon, he said, everything looks absolutely amazing and there's no reason why it can't last me hopefully another 25 years or even longer. I think that the hospital has just done such a wonderful job. These staff are so dedicated and it just takes special people who work in there and every person I've come across has been just absolutely amazing. I've become aware of a lot of other things going on around me. I have certainly become a lot more aware of, of other people's problems and community-minded. I want to go into the research programs because the next person that comes along with the same condition as me, um, his journey might be a little bit better and a, a little bit easier. I haven't uh, really had much bother after a uh, after the operation, I came home and uh, I felt really quite well and I was tempted to go out and do a bit of uh, gentle gardening. I join most of the research programs at Epworth um, and I think it's a good thing to do and obviously they just do them to benefit you and the community that goes in there. So it's something that you're doing for others. I saw my GP and he said he was just amazed that I could have a conversation with him and that you did a very good job. So I'm very thankful. <laughs>